Welcome to Shoresource Classes. Today we are going to deal with market power. Let's see an example question. We are given a case of BMW where it has a constant marginal cost that is equals to $20,000 and a fixed cost of $10 billion. We are asked to determine the prices and advise the CEO about the quantities BMW should set sell for Europe and US. We are given with the demand of each market. This is of Europe and this is of US. And we are given with an assumption that BMW can restrict US sales which denotes its market power. Now let's go into the first question. What quantity of BMW should the firm sell in each market and what the price be in each market and what will be the total profit be? With separate market, BMW chooses the appropriate levels of QE and QU to maximize its profits. Let's denote profit with pi. Now as we know pi equals to total revenue minus total cost which will be equals to Q E into P E plus Q U into P U which denotes the total revenue part of the sum minus Q E plus Q U into the marginal cost of $20,000 plus the fixed cost of $10 billion. This represents the total cost of BMW. Now using this to demand equation that we are given, we solve for PE and PU and we present it in this equation. For ease, I have represented it out here. Please check it with your answer. Moving on, we will be differentiating and setting each derivative to zero to determine the profit maximizing quantities. First, we differentiate the profit function with respect to QE. Now, setting d pi by dq e equals to zero and upon solving for QE we get 1 million cars. Similarly, we will be doing for QU. Again, setting d pi by dq u equals to 0 and solving for q u we get 300,000 cars. Now taking the values of q e and q u we will be putting it in the respective demand function and we will find the value of PE and PU from it. Now as we see for QE we were given this demand function. Now putting 1 million from our results we put it in QE. Now 1 million is equals to 4 million minus 100 PE. Now solving for PE we get 30,000 dollars. Similarly, we will be doing it for QU. 
we have the demand function for QU as QU equals to 1 million minus 20 PU. Now replacing the value of QU from our results we get 300,000 equals to 1 million minus 20 PU. Now as we solve for PU we get 35,000 dollars. Now we have obtained QE, PE, QU, PU. Now we'll substitute all the four of these values in the profit function that we derived. Upon substitution, we will get an equation like this. Now as we solve all these values, we'll get the value of pi as 4.5 billion moving on to the next question in the next situation that we have we see BMW is forced to charge the same price in each market now we have to calculate the quantity sold in each market the equilibrium price and the company's profit now in order to find the price we see that BMW charged the same price in both market so we substitute Q is equals to QE plus QU this comes to Q equals to 5 million minus 120p on solving for p we get 5 million by 120 minus q by 120 now as we know that the demand curve is equal to the ar curve and the AR curve is twi twice the slope of the demand curve. Rather, according to the rule, the slope of MR curve is always twice that of the AR curve. Thus, from the equation, we find MR is equals to 5 million by 120 minus Q by 60. Now to find the profit maximizing quantity, we set this marginal revenue equals to the marginal cost. Now from the question, we know marginal cost is 20,000. Now putting it in this equation, we get 5 million by 120 minus Q by 60 equals to 20,000 now solving for Q we will get Q star is equals to 1 1 million 300,000 now substituting the value of Q star in the demand equation we determine the price P equals to 5 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 by 120 minus 1 million 300 thousand that we obtained earlier by 120 now solving for P we get 30833.33 dollars now substituting the value of P in the demand equations for European and American markets to find the quantity sold, we get QE equals to 4 million minus 100 into 3833.33, which gives us QE equals to 916667 units. Similarly, for QU equals to 1 million 
minus 20 into 30833.33 and that gives us 3833333 units. Now substituting these values in the profit function we get pi equals to 1,300,000 into 3833.33 minus 1,300,000 into 20,000 that was our marginal cost plus 10 billion that was our fixed cost which gives us pi equals to 40 eight three 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 zero dollars now moving on to the next question we see that a monopolist is deciding how to allocate output between two geographically separated markets mainly the east coast and the midwest the demand and the marginal revenue for the two markets are given the monopolist total cost curve is given by C equals to 5 plus 3Q1 plus Q2. That is, the cost curve has a slope of 3. Now, in the first market, we see that 15 minus 2Q1 equals to 3, where we get Q1 equals to 6. Similarly, for the second market, we get 25 minus 4 Q2 equals to 3 or Q2 equals to 5.5. Substituting this into the respective demand functions, we get E1 equals to 15 minus 6, which comes to nine dollars and p2 equals to 25 minus 2 into 5.5 which comes to 14 dollars this will be the respective prices that will be charged in market one and market two now we find the profit pi equals to six into nine plus 5.5 into 14 minus 5 plus 3 into 11.5 and upon solving this we get 91.5 dollars now we note that the total quantity that has been produced is 11.5 the monopoly deadweight loss is calculated by the DWL here equals to 0 0.5 into QC minus QM that has been given in the original question into PM minus PC which comes to DWL1 equals to 0 0.5 into 12 minus 6 into 9 minus 3 which is 18 dollars similarly dwl2 for market 2 is 0 0.5 11 minus 5.5 into 14 minus 3 which is equals to 30.25 dollars therefore the total deadweight loss is equals to 48.25 dollars 
Now, without price discrimination, the monopolist must charge a single price for the entire market. To maximize profit, we find the quantity such that the marginal revenue is equal to the marginal cost. Adding the demand equations, we find the total demand curve has a kink at Q equals to 5. Now we see P equals to 25 minus 2Q if Q is less than or equals to 5 and 18.33 minus 0.67Q if Q is greater than 5. This implies that the marginal revenue equation is 25 minus 4Q if Q is less than or equals to 5, 18.33 minus 1.33Q if Q is greater than 5. With marginal cost equals to 3 and marginal revenue equals to 18.33 minus 1.33Q, we find that the profit maximizing quantity equates the marginal revenue and the marginal cost that is 18.33 minus 1.33Q equals to 3 and solving for Q we get 11.5. Now substituting in this in the profit maximizing quantity into the demand equation to determine the price we get P equals to 18.33 minus 0.67 into 11.5 which equals 10.6 dollars. With this price and Q1 equals to 4.3 Q2 equals to 7.2 we see that the profit is 11.5 into 10.6 minus 5 plus 3 into 11.5 which comes to 83.2 dollars again calculating debt weight loss for the first market we get DWL1 equals to 0 0.5 into 10.6 minus 3 into 12 minus 4 into 3 which equals to 29.26 similarly the dead weight loss for the second market is 0 0.5 into 10 in point 0.6 minus 3 into 11 minus 7.2 which equals to 14.44 dollars